Hello kids, welcome to the maths class. Today we are going to learn a very interesting topic that is number names. As kids, you have learned how to write number names of one digit, two digit, three digit and four digit number in your second class. So today's main objective is to learn how to write number name for five digit numbers. But before that, let us revise our spellings. Now kids, tell me the spelling of 7. Good. What is the spelling of 7? S-E-V-E-N. 7. Now, tell me the spelling of 14. Yes, the spelling of 14 is F-O-U-R-T-E-E-N. 14. Now tell me the spelling of 60. Yes, the spelling of 60 is S-I-X-T-Y 60. Now tell me the spelling of 100. Yes, the spelling of 100 is H-U-N-D-R-E-D 100. Now kids, let us learn how to write the number names for one digit, two digit, three digit and four digit numbers. Now let us take some examples. Can you see the first digit? How do we read this digit? For reading this digit, first of all we will write the place value table. That is ones. Always start writing the place value table from the right hand side and from ones. So, how do we read this number name? It is 2. T W O 2. Now, look at the second example. Now, two digits are there. We will again write the place value table starting from the right hand side. First, we will write 1 over 5. And tens over 3. Now, ones and tens always stick together. We will speak both the numbers together. We will not speak 3 or 5. 3 tens, 5 ones, no. We will speak 3 and 5 together. 3 and 5 stick together. How we will speak it? 35. 30. T H I R. T Y 30 F I V E 5 35 Now look at the next example. Now it is 3 digit number. Same rule. Again we will write the place value table. That is starting from the right hand side. 1's over 1. 10's over 6. Hundreds over 7. Now, it is 3 digit number. We can divide the numbers into 2 parts. 100 always goes alone. So, it is 1 part. 1's and 10's always sticks together. So, it is the 2nd part. Now, we will read 100's alone. 7 is below 100. So, 7, 100. Let us write... 7 S E V E N 7 100 H U N D R E D 100 7 100 Now 1s and 10s sticking together we will read 6 and 1 together that is 61 So we will write 61 S I X T Y 60 O N E 1. Now let us read again. 761 is our answer. Now look at the next example. It is 4 digit number. Again we will write the place value table starting from the right hand side. 1's over 2. 10's over 4. 100's over 7. Now 1000 over 3. 
Now we can divide four digit number again in the three parts. Thousand goes alone one part. Hundreds goes alone one part. Tens and ones sticks together. It goes together. So next part. Thousand one part. Hundred second part. Tens and ones third part. Now how we will read it? Three is below thousand, so we will read three thousand. We will write three T H R E E three thousand T H O U S A N D thousand three thousand. Now what is under hundred seven? So we will write seven hundred seven hundred. Now, ones and tens sticks together, always goes together. So, we will read four and two together. How we will read four and two together? Forty two. So, we will write forty two. Now, read it loud with me. Three thousand. Three thousand. Seven hundred, seven hundred, forty-two, forty-two. Now kids, I will teach you how to write the number names for five-digit number. Now kids, let us learn how we will write the number name for five-digit numbers. Can you see the five-digit number given over here? Seven, five, four, three, two. Now we will learn how to write it all together. Now again same rule applies over here. First we will write the place value table starting from the right hand side. Now ones over two, tens over three, hundreds over four, thousand over five. Now ten thousand over seven. Now one new thing has come over here that is ten thousand. Now, five digit number, we can divide five digit number into three parts. Now, remember, ten thousand and thousand always sticks together. So, it is one part. Now, hundred goes alone. So, it is the second part. Tens and ones always sticks together. So, it is the third part. Five digit number can be divided into three parts. That is... Ten thousand and thousand, one part. Hundred, second part. Tens and ones, third part. Now let us see how we will read and write the number name of these numbers. Now we know that ten thousand and thousand sticks together and always goes together. So we will not write seven, ten thousand, five thousand. No, we will write seven and five together. That is. Seventy five. Now seventy five is coming under which place value? Thousand. So we will write seventy five thousand. Let us write seventy five thousand. Next is. Second part is hundreds part. That is four. Hundreds part is four. Four is given in the hundreds place, so we will write four hundred. Four hundred. Now, what is our third part? Third part is tens and ones. Now tens and ones under tens it is given three and under ones it is given two. So when we stick together and write three and two together, it is thirty two. So we will write thirty two. Let us read again seventy five sticking together. So seventy five thousand we have written seventy five thousand. Now four goes alone, hundreds goes alone, so we have written four hundred. 
Now third part is tens and ones that sticks together three and two. Together we have written thirty two. So the answer is seventy five thousand four hundred thirty two. Now look at the next example. Again five digit number. You know the rule. First rule is to write the place value table from the right hand side. Ones over six. Tens over two, hundreds over zero, thousand over four, and ten thousand over one. We know that we can divide five-digit number into three parts. That is, ten thousand and thousand in first part. Hundred goes alone. So second part. Tens and ones goes together. So third part. So now let us again read and write. Now, ten thousand below ten thousand it is given one, and below thousand it is given four. Now one and four sticks together, and we will write together. So it will be fourteen. Fourteen is coming under which place value table? Thousand. So we will write fourteen thousand. F O U R T E E N. Fourteen thousand. Now, next part is hundreds. Below hundred, it is zero. Now, do we write zero hundred? No, we never write zero hundred. Zero means nothing. That's why we will not write any number name for hundreds because zero is given over there. We will directly move on to the third part. What is the third part? Tens and ones. Under tens it is two. Under ones it is six. Now two and six goes together. We will write it together. Two and six together is twenty-six. So we will write twenty-six. Now read it again with me. Fourteen thousand. Ten thousand thousand goes together, so we have written fourteen thousand. Now under hundreds, it is given zero. Zero means nothing, so we will not write any number name for zero. That's why we have not written any number name for hundreds place. Now we have moved on to the tens and ones place. That is two and six together. It is twenty six. So our answer is fourteen thousand twenty six. Now. Let us see the third example. Now again, it is a five-digit number. Again, same rule. We will write the place value table starting from the right hand side, starting with ones. Now ones over zero, tens over zero, hundreds over zero, thousand over nine, and ten thousand over ones. Okay, ones over zero. Tens over zero, hundreds over zero, thousand over nine, and ten thousand over one. Now again, five-digit number is there, so we can divide five-digit number into three parts. That is, ten thousand and thousand goes together. That is one part. Hundred goes alone. So second part. Tens and ones always goes together. So third part. Now let us read and write. Now. Under ten thousand, it is given one, and under thousand, it is given nine. So together, one and nine. How we will read it? Nineteen. So nineteen is under which place value table? Thousand. So we will write down nineteen thousand. Nineteen. N i n e. T e e n. Nineteen thousand. Now, under hundreds it is zero. Hundred always goes alone. Under hundreds it is zero. Now I have told you in the last example also. Do we write zero hundred? No, zero means nothing. So we will not write any number name for hundreds. We will move on to the third part. That is tens and ones part. Now see what is given under tens zero. What is given under ones zero. 
अगेन जीरो जीरो मीन्स नथिंग नो नंबर नेम फॉर जीरो सो वी विल लीव इट एज इट इज सो वॉट इज आर नंबर नेम फॉर दिस नंबर नाइनटीन थाउजेंड वन नाइन जीरो 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 नंबर नेम फॉर दिस नंबर इज नाइनटीन थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स I hope you have understood how to write the number names for one digit, two digit, three digit, four digit and finally five digit numbers. Now complete the pages that has been given to you in your snap homework. Thank you.